it's the tragedy of the commons, it's like it, some, some of the resources that we have, the natural resources that we have that we used to be so common are gone, are uh, like becoming really rare. Like the water in, our, in California, like that used to be like, oh, we had a bunch of water and now it's like all gone and we're like fighting to get more water. Good. Yeah, that's a good start to it. So there are resources that are no longer available that used to be. There's a good discussion happening over here, too. Somebody mind sharing with... Um, so, like, some people might take more than they need, and then the, and then they'll use what they need, and then they'll waste it, and then they'll use it and something will happen to the leftovers, and then people who actually need it don't get it because they will more waste it. Good. So combining those two ideas, yes, some, there's some overuse, and then some people that don't have access to the, those resources anymore. Good. And let's make this our last thought because we do have yeah, some more feedback to do. Yeah. So, go ahead, Satya. Okay. Um, uh, tragedy of the common, I think, is when some person is like, oh, well, I get to do this, but if like the loss is only this much, so it won't really affect the world. But then everyone else is doing it, so. Uh, like, if you don't eat your dinner that night and it goes in the trash, then how many other people aren't finishing their dinners and going in the trash? That adds up. So it just, it's a gain that you have, but everyone else has their little loss adding up, too. So it's a, like a cumulative effect of all these decisions that people make. Sierra, really quickly. Yeah, yeah. Um, because it's common, it's really easy and we're, no offense, but we're really lazy as people, especially when things come to us. So we take and take and take, not thinking about how much we're taking. And we don't think about the change. Even if it's a positive or negative, it still affects something. Okay, and did anybody make it to the end where they were talking about like policies and laws? So at the end of the article, they were talking about this is why that there are policies and laws to help manage these common resources. So we, that's a, a theme that we'll be coming back to throughout the project is how do we manage these limited natural resources. There's a link in the agenda. It says podcast flowchart. <laughs> One region is North America, Northern Americas, and another region is Sub-Saharan Africa. Another region is the Middle East and Northern Africa. So students, the teams have different focus regions, and they're researching the state of natural resources today. So they have there are several natural resources that they're looking at, like forests, arable, farmable land. Um, they're also looking at the air quality and water quality. And they're predicting in the future, what are some predictions about how those resources will change, um, specifically with relation to climate change. So they're learning about the carbon cycle, climate change, ecology. And then mixed in there, they're also learning about human rights and about other parts of the world. In fact, what we were just working on, um, so what we're going to be doing in the spring is a, a fundraiser, an athletic fundraiser event. So we haven't finalized what that might be, but it could be like a, you know, a, a fun run or some sort of fitness event where the students are going to be raising money for UNICEF to go to some of these human rights violations that may exist in different parts of the world. Um, a, a lot can be attributed to lack of natural resources. And so we're tying those two together in that way. So the physical education is them training for this year-long event, or the year-end event that we'll be raising money for, for you to sign. information on like 
the Middle East and North Africa separately, so can we combine the information Sure. split, like, the different topics? Yeah. You have some creative freedom now. So Benchmark 1 was really structured so that you do a lot of research. It's totally up to you how you structure your podcast as long as it addresses these three things and it is your focus region. Some teams are focusing even only on one thing. So it's up to you if you want to focus on four. Yeah. Like animals and people together. You could do that. Sure. That would be a lot. I mean, the narrower the focus, probably the more in-depth you can go. It has so you to think. be at least eight minutes, right? Yeah, eight to ten minutes. Can it be like nine minutes so we can have like a little break? Mm-hmm. Yeah, eight to ten is the range. Outline mm-hmm. that you had on there. Yes. Uh, do we have access to it? You sure do. Where? If you click on the agenda or benchmark two, either one. Okay, so I have an example benchmark up here. I just wanted to pause and point out how your benchmark one can be used to make your benchmark two. A lot of people I've noticed are starting from scratch, it looks like. They're assigning new topics and starting to research new things. But you already did all of this research. So you should be starting with benchmark one and checking it out and identifying what are some of the topics that really stood out to your team. Okay, so like, cause for mine, I'm doing forest. So mm-hmm. would some good questions be like, what is the problem? Absolutely, and then, yeah. Um, what, um, what are some solutions? And then what can other people do to help? Would that be good? Yeah, okay. if, the, if you find research on that, you don't feel like you have to solve everything though. The yeah. purpose of the podcast is really to draw attention and awareness to the issue so there may not be a clear solution at this time yeah so that would be fun. I found a really good website with those exact okay. things so it's like I should use that that would be a good so could nice. be water yeah. well you have there is a, a column on there for water so if you go back to benchmark one and scroll to where it says water fresh water but how about if there's unpolluted water unpolluted means not polluted and we also, when we say fresh water, we mean unpolluted water. Yep. So it means like water that can be used for farming or human consumption. So basically, fresh water is fre- that's fresh water that's clean and polluted or. Right yep, and polluted means it's not, uh, it either is going to take money and resources to unpollute it, to clean it out or it's water that can't be used by people. So can we just change it to polluted water? So I'm going to explain what we have to do. Well, the, the resource is fresh, unpolluted water. So, yeah, you're going to, the topic would be fresh water. How are we doing here, folks? Nice, I love seeing you around the benchmark one. Excellent. So can we just, like, say that um, we did, like, a lot of research about it and then we could just, like, talk about what we researched on so we don't have to like find new things to talk about no if you feel like you you already did very thorough research you don't today you're not going to worry about researching today you're just making a plan you probably will want to do more research after today Mm -hmm. once you have your your uh, flow chart already yeah so what are the topics that your team is going to focus on forest in europe forests in europe okay Mm -hmm. great and then it's going to be like the state of the trees and like because we wanted to focus on trees and wildlife since it's what's in the forest. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay. And there are some projects where they do come up with the question. Uh, We'll give them a topic or they come up with any question and then we design kind of a project that fits in there. So we're always researching and using the internet and talking with other teachers. Um, uh, Biologists, we we speak with biologists and doctors to try to get more information. Yeah, and that's another role of, of a teacher too, is to bring in experts in certain fields. I think that's mm-hmm. been really powerful for our students to have experts who are who are willing to share what they do for a living, you know, in a topic that's relevant to their project. So it's showing that career connection as well. 